Casual starts season three, and we're talking to two of the lead cast. I hear Tommy in my ear, and my, Michael will be joining us in a minute. And uh, it'll be the first time talking to Tommy, but he just said, like, con, like, connected. And Michael, what's it like working with such a smart person like Tommy who gets connected? Oh, Wait, my God. I'm sorry. Did he pay you? I are, love this. Are, I love the way this is going. This is how we're starting this. I object. Um, it's actually, okay. Okay, Con Jackson, I'll tell you, it's pretty great. All right, is that what you want to hear? It's awesome. I love it. I would never trade him for uh, all the all the hunks in the land. Well, that's awesome, Michaela. <laughs> Thanks for being a sport about it. But uh, Tommy, she just referred to you as a hunk. How does that feel? Uh, I know. Well, listen. We have Chase Crawford on the show this year, so I, um, I'm just trying to keep up. <laughs> well, season three of Casual is underway, and what's it like to look back when you guys auditioned and first read those scripts to see where you are today? It's crazy. Uh, I met Michaela. Uh, we, we knew of one another, sort of, but we met at the screen test for mm -hmm. this uh, show and uh, quickly became Thick as Thieves. I, I, it's, you know, I think we're both pitching ourselves. Whenever you get, get a home base for three years in this business, uh, you're very lucky. And for it to be on a, a, a show that this, is this fulfilling to work on, uh, you know, feels like a miracle. Yeah. It's, it really is a dreamy, dreamy time. And I joke about uh, Tommy uh, being a hunk, but he is. So, lucky me. <laughs> well, Michaela, let's get you in here. Uh, I, your, your character, just share with us how it has evolved and how you've enjoyed that over these three seasons. Oh, um, that's a fun question. A everything. I mean, th it was always in the minds of the creator, uh, Xander Lehman and Jason Reitman, who really helped find the tone and the look of the show and helped with, you know, wrote the initial script with Xander, that, um, that there's a sense that Valerie has to have somewhere to go. So, you know, when we first meet her, she's coming out of this uh, sort of a dreadful marriage and she got married and had a kid so young and for 20 years that was her life. And, um, and now she's suddenly, you know, foisted out into the world and has to interact with other people, which she didn't count on. And, um, you know, I think it's been great to watch this progression of sort of uptight sort of therapist who dresses like a kindergarten teacher into somebody who's out doing her thing <laughs> and other people. She goes on a run this season. Yeah, it's been real very run. exciting to watch. Yeah. She's a man eater. <laughs> <laughs> so what encouraged you guys to write this first episode of season three? Well, they invited us first, which we felt very fortunate. Both of us moonlight as writers and have been have been creators of of shows in the past, and um, and I guess put it out there that we would love to write uh, on the show. Um, it was it was really cool to play these characters for a couple of years, and then and then put on the writer hat and write them. And I think you know if they have a certain set of skills. Actors make really good writers. I mean, they've got an ear for dialogue. We can test the dialogue right after we write it to see if the jokes work. And uh, if it's something that would come out of our mouths, uh, if it's something that we would say, you right. know, it just immediately had to feel like in the world. And we knew these characters so well. We were able to improvise our our way out of out of dead ends. Um, Writing our my niece, your daughter, was a little bit of a challenge. Jumping into Tara's brain. Yeah, because she's a, a different, she's like an alien species to us. She's like one of those really smart millennials that, that we don't know how, we don't know how they work. I was not uh, that <laughs> smart at that age. No, so I was not I couldn't, that aware. I couldn't get there. Yeah. Um, so. But uh, really fun. Well, you guys are certainly great together, but I'm wondering if Tommy wrote a line and you, Michaela, said, there's no way I'm saying that. <laughs> Um, we, I don't know, I, I mean... I had her get hit by a bus originally. <laughs> and, yeah, he tried uh, to kill me off. The network nixed um, it, but... <laughs> and uh, I tried to have Tommy do a, um, a weenie-eating contest. Uh, no, none of those things happen. But we, um, we wrote really well. We sat side by side in front of a computer and took turns typing, and basically, you know, um, just we would just spitball what the scenes were about. We were in the writer's room breaking the story out with all the writers and then we would go off and write the episode right. together and uh, it was just really fun we'd uh, take breaks to hang out with my dog and um, she has she had a very new dog at the time Jeff uh, <laughs> and he's wonderful uh, Jeff he's wrote a lot of it Jeff wrote about a third of it <laughs> yeah um, no it's it's episode 308 that's out today that we wrote together and I think one thing that helped is we wrote it over the holidays last yeah. year and we're able to spend 
uh, a good chunk of, junk, chunk of time together just talking about we it. We kind of ruined our Christmas vacation writing our um, this episode together. <laughs> um, but uh, but, but uh, we, we did. We cloistered away and did it. But, but in terms of the dialogue, what's interesting about this episode is that, um, interestingly, um, Alex has pretty much like the lion's share of all the lines. And my character uh, is in kind of a, a fantasy world of of what, what she's feeling very internally conflicted about. And so that's more of a visual thing. And Alex is much more of a um, verbal, him trying to connect verbally with, with the people that he's been cloistered off with. Well, Judy Greer's character in this case. Yeah, I'm just, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know why I let us do that to me. It was a lot of, it was a lot of lines to memorize. I have no idea why. A lot of one-sided telephone calls. <laughs> well, I certainly can't wait for season three to come out on Hulu. You two are great together, Michaela and Tommy. Thank you so much for joining us and bringing such passion and joy to the set today. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.